Hello, hello. All right, so uh, in the past three videos, we talked about list comprehension syntax. So hopefully you're getting the hang of it by now. So what I have here is I have five problems where you have to use the list comprehension syntax to generate uh, the given list. So we have these resulting lists that you uh, must generate. And I also have the link to this file in my GitHub. So link is in the description. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at what we have here. Uh, as a reminder, here's the syntax. Um, so here's just the regular uh, list comprehension syntax. Here's the one with the condition. And then here's the one with the ternary operator. All right, so problem one, all you have to do is use the syntax uh, in a single line, generate a list containing the letters from A to Z, all uppercase letters. And then problem two, you have to generate the list containing the following integers. So uh, this is uh, the powers of twos. Okay, if, uh, if you're not good at math, this is the powers of twos. This one is a little tricky. I won't uh, tell you what this sequence is. Actually, it's uh, not a it's not a number sequence. Um, there's no way you can get a math number sequence like this. Uh, so you might have to uh, think outside the box for number three. And then number four, it's uh, uh, we have this uh, watermelon again. And basically, you're alternating. So uh, at every odd index, we have a uh, Wait, uh, we have uppercase, and at every even index, we have lowercase. So I actually uh, flipped this. So uh, this will be corrected uh, in the GitHub uh, file. So all characters at even indices are lowercase. So lowercase w, uppercase a, right, because it's index 1. And then so it's basically alternating. So the hint here is to use the ternary operator. And then problem five, uh, my favorite, actually. Uh, this one always gets the students. So you're given an input S. They just enter a word. And you have to use the list comprehension syntax to generate uh, all the characters of S, whatever they input. So if they input Python, you put in Python and Python. So you're putting the characters twice. So if they put Java, you put Java and then Java. So here's the catch. You may not use any math operators. You may not double s, multiply s times 2, or add s plus s. You may not use any libraries to change s. You must take s the way it is. So if it's Python, you have to use the list comprehension syntax uh, using that string only. Okay? So like problem 3, you might need to uh, think outside the box for this one. Try to remember all the concepts you learn in uh, beginner Python programming. All right, so uh, have fun with this uh, quiz and or you may just consider it homework or whatever. It's something uh, a little fun to do uh, for practice. All right. All right, so let's start with the first one. Uh, this one's fairly simple. It's uh, uh, you're, you're supposed to use the CHR uh, character function, which converts uh, a number to its ASCII value. So if you look up the ASCII chart, you can see, I think it was 65 to 91 are the numbers for A to Z in uppercase. So you just do CHR I for I in range 65 to 91. And then if we run this code, oh, silly me, I forgot to print it. If we run the code, we get A to Z. All right. Very nice. Let's look at the second one. So the second one is also very simple. It's the powers of two. So this is two to the zero, two to the one, two to the two, and so on. This is two to the seven. Uh, for CS, for us CS people, you should know your powers of twos because uh, if you work with binary numbers, uh, you should, you know, just know the powers of twos. So the syntax would be two to the i for i in range. So we have zero, and this is two to the seven. So we want to include seven, so we stop at eight. And then uh, let's not forget this time to print our result. And here we go. 
one two four eight sixteen thirty two sixty four one hundred twenty eight. All right. Make sure you know these numbers. If you don't, uh, there's a game I believe where you can just uh, practice. Uh, I think it's called twenty forty eight. So, all right. Let's look at uh, problem three. This one's a very tricky one. As I mentioned before, it's uh, I don't think you can come up with a number sequence to generate this. Um, so basically, it's the digit is the the, the digit uh, we have here is the same as the number of digits we have. So we have one of one, two of two, three of three, four of four. So basically, uh, you just do string of i times i for i in range. In this case, we're starting at 1, and we end at 5, so we should put 6 as a stopping number. Let's print our result. And then you get 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4, 4, 4, and then 5 of 5. And then the tricky part, you have to convert this to an integer. So let's save and run. Now we see we have these integers. Okay, so that was a fun one, right? All right, problem four. Uh, we're given watermelon again, and then we have to alternate. So basically, lowercase if the character is at an uh, even index, and uppercase if it's at an odd index. So uh, we would use, uh, we would uh, iterate through the list by indices. So we're going to do for i in range length of s instead of for character in string. And then here we'll say s of i dot uh, lower uh, if i mod 2 is equal to 0. Else we take s of i dot upper. And then we run this. Oops, I always forget. Okay, now we run it and we get watermelon. Um, all right, so that one hopefully wasn't too bad uh, with the ternary operator. And then finally, we have our last one. So this one uh, tricks, uh, gets uh, the students the most. Uh, this one, uh, from my experience, I've seen students struggle on this for 30 minutes, maybe an hour. So it's very tricky. The way you do it is uh, actually uh, watch this. Uh, your brain's about to explode. You take s of i for i in range, negative length of s to positive length of s, and uh, we print our result. All right, so check this out. In this case, uh, oh, I forgot to take the user input, so s default to watermelon, but we get watermelon, watermelon. Let's actually take the user input. So let's put in Python. We get Python, Python. Pretty cool, right? So how does this work? Well, if, you for, if you've forgotten, uh, Python, we have negative indices. So if we look at uh, the word Python, so Python. If we go from left to right, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the length of Python is 6. So if we go from 0 to 6, but not including 6, we get Python, right? So it's going from left to right. What about backwards? So negative 1 is the end. Uh, I gotta format this better. And then negative two, then we have negative three, negative four, negative five, and negative six. Actually, let me format this so it's easier to see. All right, so as you can see, uh, when you take negative 1, you start at the end, and if you take negative length of the string, you start at the front. That's why if you start from negative length to the positive length, you're basically going from negative 6 to 6, but stop at 6. So you're going P, 
P-Y-T-H-O-N, and then you go back to zero, P-Y-T-H-O-N. So that's actually how this works, okay? Pretty cool, right? Um, yeah, so that's it for this uh, quiz. And uh, so how did you do? Let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.